Welcome to the Lenore Tech training video on how to set up your digital inputs. First, we need to log in. Default login is admin admin, all lowercase. Then we'll navigate to services in and out. Now to set up your digital input, with digital input number one, we'll click the edit icon. Here we can give it a name. I'll just give it Dan one and the label. We can do on and off. For right now, I'll skip the corrector. It's not used in the state type. We'll click the use checkbox to activate the digital input. We'll select a dot for the display, which gives us a red or green dot, depending on whether that digital input is on or off. We'll change the maximum to one and click save. So right now we have a red dot determining that digital input is off. To invert that input and change it from a off state to a naturally on state, we'll type in a capital I in the command line. Then we'll click save and now we have a green dot. Another digital input you could use is a counter. We'll go back to the edit page and for the type, you'll see a counter NR and a counter R. The only difference is you cannot reset a counter NR and you can reset a counter R. I'll use the counter R for this video and I'll zero the counter by typing in a capital Z and I'll give it a thousand maximum value and we'll apply those changes. So now it's zeroed. If I want to load a preset counter value, I can type in L500 for a preset counter of 500. I'll click save and now we have a counter value of 500. I can go back in and zero this count by once again typing in capital Z. Some more features you can use a digital input for is to count the frequency or a low frequency. We use the frequency for this, click save. And then we have this frequency displayed in Hertz. 